Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. All right, this video is mostly a tip video and not a repair video, but I think I'll show you how to put it back together. And some tips for uh, this is a specifically a, this is a 2004 Jeep Wrangler, very popular, and uh, do a lot of thermostats on them. However, people are cracking them. I haven't seen videos about it, but there's a crack right there. That's probably because the thermostat slipped down, because the thermostat does not sit in here, it sits in the block. So I got a new one. I'll be transferring this over, of course, the coolant temperature sensor. So my tip, I think, uh, has some value is to silicone it in place. Oh, strong magnet. And you get a screwdriver wedged in that pulley. And then that's wedged between here. Pretty basic. And it's been here for probably a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm pretty confident that when I take this all apart, I don't. <laughs> I don't think that thermostat is going to go anywhere. I put a dab of uh, RTV silicone around the edge, just a light coating all the way around the edge of the thermostat, pushed it into place, and uh, there it is. So I hope that this uh, video helps you out. Of course, get all the surfaces clean, as everyone talks about. And then, of course, I'll have a very clean surface here on that. <laughs> Got yourself a new gasket. And uh, yes, very easy and very basic. And if you wanted to also, just a thin, thin coating of uh, RTV, black RTV, whatever color you want, I guess, silicone. Line up your holes, glue that down there, and then everything will kind of be in place. And then you can uh, put it on there and uh, bolt things up real nice. My next tip advice about the hoses when you do the hoses then you have the spring clamps and they have these obvious indentations on the hose make sure you get this clamp best practice get the clamp back in the exact same grooves because I've seen them leak before when they're not and then I put them in the groove and they stop leaking of course you can also just replace them that's also another good option I get some at the dealership or the parts store will have the screw type and just replace them with the screw type. So those are my two bits of advice for you on the thermostat replacement. All right, they want you to tighten the uh, bolts to 15 foot-pounds. All right, then we'll just 
the slider hoses on and put the clamps back in place. Plug in our uh, coolant temperature sensor. And uh, yeah, that is the basics of replacing your thermostat. Now I have difficulty if I get coolant on the belt that it squeaks. So, and I'm doing another job anyway. So, besides that, there is a half inch square hole in the tensioner down there. So you put your half inch breaker bar in there and you rotate it clockwise and it'll loosen the belt tension. You can take the belt off before you start this project as long as coolant hasn't gotten on your belt. If it did, then I'm sorry and it'll probably make noise. I guess you could post on here if you have issues with noise. You're getting coolant on the belt. So the slider hoses on and then uh, put the clamps back on or replace the clamps as we talked about. And uh, fill it with coolant. You'll probably put, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing a gallon in there or something like that. Nice 50-50 mix of whatever came out. Green or orange. temperature of course. Oh, starting to get some warmth out of the vents already. Got it set on hot, got some blowing air and blowing in my face there so feel good about that and we'll just uh, take it for a maybe seven to ten mile test drive. Get it up to operating temperature, watch the temperature gauge. I'll let it cool down for a couple hours and then go back and uh, check it and top it off as needed at the radiator and uh, coolant jug on the driver's side of the radiator and you will see low and full marks on that jug. Good luck to you.